Hey, how are you doing? Tech for Road Channel here and time for another review. Well, that's the Bux 2 and I can bet you see it's heavily modded and I have already mounted the Valkyra G2D and I'm about to attach probably the Firefly 8S camera, the 170 degree version this time. And there's so many questions I need to find the answers for. Well, when I initially purchased this drone, I really wanted to find out whether it is good for aerial photography. And it's pretty unfortunate that it doesn't really have legs on uh, the bottom. There are no holes, nothing. So I had to improvise. And I really need to find out whether this landing gear is stable enough. And I don't know how it's going to behave because the Valkyra recommends a three cell battery and this drone has only a two cell battery and and that's where the questions come from whether it's going to take off at all is it going to fly at all for how long it's going to fly is it going to land safely is it going to drop at some moment is the Valkyra going to work you know you know plenty of questions and i hope to get these answers within just a few minutes so let's start the show That's it. He's grounded over there and he deserves to be. Apparently the Bux 2 is not designed for aerial photography, especially if you plan to attach a gimbal and an action camera, because this payload is too much for the motors. You, you have probably seen in the video that it took off and when I tried to gain some height, it uh, basically worked just for a few seconds, then he started to drop down and well, it wasn't a crash, but it touched the ground and it was quite apparent that it wasn't stable at all. The total flight time was around five minutes and that all even after I have removed the camera. So I've removed those uh, 70 few grams that the Firefly 8S weighs. Quite obviously, you're going to have to stick with the embedded camera if you're planning to make some photographs or some video. And I still believe this drone is great for its FPV capabilities. If your smartphone supports 
5G Wi-Fi. It's, it's really amazing because the range can go up to 600 meters, which probably most of the analog devices cannot. That's about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Now we know that if you're looking for attaching an action camera to your Box 2, you're going to have to find some other way to do that or just don't use a gimbal or just don't use an action camera at all. Just shoot as it is. The drone is great enough. I hope you like it. I hope you like the video too and see you soon.